Well, I mean, like, realistically, the number one guy in Russia that is, in terms of, like, the pure development projection this year is Kuzadinov. Um Man, this kid's, like, the leap that he's take, the leap that he took this year versus last year where, um, you know, <laughs> the whole thing was, you know, he wasn't signed. He was ready to come over here. Then he did sign. All of a sudden, he got his playing time back. Mm-hmm. That was re- that was a real thing. But even after that, he still wasn't. He would get on the puck and he would look to get rid of it. He would stay to the outside. He did not. I'll be honest with you. I probably had one, maybe two viewings early on where I was like, yes, this kid has a chance to be an NHL center, which for a kid with his frame is really not common. The kid's like on a good day, 5'10". 140 pounds. <laughs> um, that being said, this this offseason, the I don't know what he did. I mean, let's just hope he doesn't get drug tested because he looks like a fucking beast. But um, but like he just looked like a bottom six defensive oriented winger um, that didn't have a whole lot of offense, didn't like having the puck on his deck, just like didn't really look confident at all. This year, man, like unbelievable um first of all not just getting the puck and dishing it he'll keep it he'll get to the inside um you know he's manipulating defense a little bit more he's becoming a little bit more unpredictable and actually willing to try things which he didn't do last year like trying moves or like just keeping the puck a little bit longer and apart from that he's getting to that net front and he's legitimately like winning battles against dudes that are like first of all playing the khl so like if you fucking like two hand someone they're like yeah actually the other guy's gonna get called for the penalty um but he's like winning these battles and scoring goals um you know, there's still a little bit more that I'd like to see. Like, I'd like to see him be a little bit more selfish and shoot the puck. You know, every once in a while, he has a shift where you're like, dude, like, come on. Like, you just looked like you wanted to get rid of Did I just X out of this thing? No. <laughs> Why am I locked? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is. Oh, my God. All right. There we go. I'm back. Um, you're, you're here. You're good. <laughs> my Google Doc that I had open with all the stats on it literally just supersized. And it. Gave me the red rings of death, which I've never seen on a laptop before. Uh, it doesn't matter. Xbox. Okay. Anyways, um, but he's just being way more confident and looking like a guy that, first of all, becoming a little bit. Why is everything fucking freezing? This yeah, is insane. Your room got dark. All I can see is your uh, the ambiance, your candle. Oh my god! Everything. Oh, this is bad. Why is this happening? Oh my god. I am going to scream. Literally, right. I have a black, I have a black screen. Go acapella. You're still here. I'm gonna, I've got a black screen. I can't see anything. This is insane. I hate my life. Um, but if you can still hear me, I guess. Yeah, uh, you're good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just have a okay. black screen. That, that's okay. I mean, hey, you, you said who's in D knob. Like, there's some things you want to see. But good news is we got a couple of years before he can even fucking come here. So yes and just, he's yeah. just he's 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 the he's like their most you know, first of all he's playing top six minutes whether it's wing center like he plays either wing um he's on the ice late games close games um first power play first pe- uh penalty kill um he's over 50 percent at the face off dot which he was not last year um so he's just becoming this more like versatile player who is displaying like real offense the only thing i'd like to see him do a little bit more is just kind of like be a little bit more selfish instead of just kind of deferring or always looking for the assist. I'd like to see him shoot a little bit more. I think he probably averages like 0.7 shots per 60, maybe um, versus a guy like Yurov who hasn't played in a fucking month because fuck Russia um, <laughs> and probably averages like 2.4 shots on goal per 60. Like they're, they're like, he's been scratched all week and still has like similar shots on net this season. Uh, compared to who's in Dino. But again, like you look at who's in Dino, he's got a 200 foot game, very projectable. The skating is like insane, like elite, elite skating um, where you just, he's a kid that you look at no matter what role he's in, he's going to succeed at the NHL level. And he's just continuing to do this on the best team in the KHL. Uh, 
So there's games where he's first line center. There's games where he's second line center, second line, right wing, first line, left wing. Like it doesn't really matter. He's just like kind of their most dependable piece. Um, and now he's averaging close to 20 minutes a night, no matter where he is. And again, special teams, five, five, whatever it is, um, you know, he's on the ice. So he's just been outstanding. Um, and I think that he's not far away. Well, the second is fucking contract ends in Russia. God only knows if he'll sign another fucking one. Um, but, you know, even with the small frame and like just like odds kind of being stacked against him in that regard, he looks like a kid that absolutely could come over here and actually play center. And again, I think it's actually going to wind up being a good thing that he signed that deal. and's going to play in the KHL for a couple of years. Like basically mm-hmm. just like, again, it's, it's, I mean, it's just the NHL, but in Russia um, with a way funnier kind of like approached every game um so i think it's actually a workout for in terms of like just his development so he's been outstanding like legitimately probably had the five six seven game streak where you're like "Uh uh-oh like all these things are happening he's not playing as much um but then all of a sudden they put the top top six and he's probably close to i don't know 70 um I almost said 75% for, for whatever fucking reason, but like 0.75 uh, points per 60, I'd probably say. He looks like a 60-point like a guy over there over the course of a full season, but he's just been a stud, so um, definitely the uh, number one guy in Russia right now. And do you still see him being a guy that's a middle sixer in the NHL or any upside that you think he could shape into a first-line guy? Um, I mean, I think there's upside. I think the realistic progress, uh, uh, projection. Oh my God. Now my other screen is doing this is insane. I'm losing my fucking mind. Um, I, li- I'm about to lose it. Like, I don't know why I can't. I'm here to guide you, my son. Just, um, come to my voice. What is going on? Uh, I think like, is there a top six upside? Yes. Like, do I think he could fit on a line very well with like Kirill Kaprizov? Yeah. Um, kind of racist, but I'm okay with it. I, <laughs> I think the realistic projection is like a middle six guy that uses in every situation that has offense, um, but isn't like going to be his go to thing in the NHL. But again, this year you're seeing a whole lot more offense than you did the last couple of years playing in the KHL. Um, so I think there's upside there. It kind of just depends how the next year or two goes. But if everything goes right, yeah, you're definitely whether he's center or as a wing. Cause that's really the bigger question, right? Like where does he end up? Um, Cause I think if he ends up as a winger, the points are going to be few and far between, but he will be able to complement a line really well. Um, and he's gonna be very effective at both ends of the ice. If he ends up a center, then you're opening up the possibility of him playing with Kirill Kaprizov. So the points will be there. And Danilo Europe, who knows? 